Some watches you review because they are hype, some you review for the clicks, and some you review just because you love them and they bring you joy. This is one of those watches that just makes me happy and I need to talk about it. Today we have in the Brew Metric Retro, the chronograph I didn't know I needed in my life. Here's everything you need to know about this watch. Before we get started today, I just had to say this watch isn't mine. I have it on loan from my beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous friend, Luke. Luke lends me far too many watches and I'm so grateful and I don't deserve you in my life. So thank you so much for letting me be hands-on with this watch. Now there's something I need to disclose to you guys before we get started. Um, and it's my massive bias in loving brew watches so much. I've kind of had a thing for brew watches since the first time I saw one. They're just so quirky, playful, and by the watch collecting community for the watch collecting community. So if you don't know much about brew, they were founded in 2015 by this guy, Jonathan Ferrer. He's an industrial designer, professor at NJIT, and above all else, a coffee lover. Also, I already know in the comments down below, you guys are all going to make fun of the way I say coffee. This whole video, just get it out of your system now. His watches take inspiration from coffee and cafe culture, and more specifically, industrial espresso machines, which feature warm, contrasting colors and a variety of brushing effects. Brew is all about savoring the moment, treasuring your time, and sharing it with others, which is a kind of far out philosophy, but I'm kind of far out, so I like it. <laughs> now, let's dig into the specifications of this watch. So the Brew Metric has a case diameter of 36 by 41.5 millimeters, a thickness of 10.75 mil. At first I thought I was a bit intimidated by that 41.5 millimeters, but square and rectangular watches always wear so different. I think it actually really suits my five and a half inch wrist, but it also looks awesome on my husband's six and a half inch wrist. The lug width is 20 millimeters, but honestly, I would just wear it on the bracelet. The bracelet is surprisingly awesome for a $425 watch. Does that sound really snobby? I'm not saying that to sound super snobby. Just if one was to buy like a $5,000 watch, you would hope the bracelet feels a certain way. <laughs> and when you spend $400 on a watch, you kind of expect, you know, something different. Oh, does that sound snobby? But the bracelet is really well made. It's sturdy, no hairs pulled for me yet. Just an awesome bracelet. Pretty standard folding clasp and micro adjustments are available. This watch has a water resistance of 50 meters, so it's not the one you're gonna be wearing to the beach. And inside is a Seiko Hybrid VK68 Mecha Quartz Chronograph Movement. Now I am by no means a movement specialist. The movement isn't the primary thing that draws me to a watch. I know so many collectors are really drawn to the engineering side of a watch. Whereas for me, I'm much more interested in the design and wearability. But the Seiko VK68 Mecha Quartz is a seriously cool movement. Mecha Quartz is kind of the partnership between quartz and mechanical timekeeping. So the timekeeping functions are controlled by a quartz movement and the stopwatch functions of the chronograph are controlled by a mechanical module. Both functions are powered by the same battery. So you have all the accuracy and affordability of quartz without sacrificing that mechanical feeling when you hit the chronograph pushers. I'm going to get it nice and close. Hopefully the mic picks it up. Design-wise, this watch doesn't look like anything else. I don't know what I would compare this watch to. It is bold and funky, fantastic splashes of colors. It's just happy. The Metric Retro takes its inspiration from the early 1930s telephone timer chronographs. So they were these watches designed with special markings that highlighted every three minutes on the subdial register to indicate to the wearer that they would need to insert another coin into the meter to continue their call, which I just love. Okay, I love it. I know I'm such a marketing victim. I must be the easiest person to sell to, but I just love little romantic things like this. 
for brew, instead of timing three-minute telephone calls, the subdial markers indicate the optimal time for an espresso shot. The time for this ranges between 25 to 35 seconds, depending on barista and machine. I don't think I would ever use this functionality. I don't know. I feel like I've always been that person who's loved coffee, but I haven't felt the need to base my entire personality and lifestyle around it. <laughs> you know? I'm just more than happy to enjoy the pops of color and use the espresso story as a conversation piece if anyone ever asked me about my watch. On the whole, I really enjoy this watch. The closest thing I have to a complaint is that I don't love the brew logo of a coffee bean. I don't know, this could just be me and my own personal taste and, and me not feeling the need to base my entire personality around liking coffee. But it's by no means a bad logo either. And something I should find jarring is that weird negative space area on the right of the watch. From pictures, the asymmetry really bothered me, but it really hasn't bothered me so much as I've been wearing it all this week. But the date location. The date location. That has been getting to me. I struggle with the date placement on most watches, and this one... Uh, it just isn't right. But these are just my tiny nitpicks. The things I don't like could be the very thing that you do like. It's just arguing over taste. None of these nitpicks would get in the way of me buying this watch. Just because it's, it's just so happy. I love it. If you like this watch, tough titties. It's all sold out. But hopefully it comes back soon. And I cannot wait to see what brew brings us next. But anyways, guys, this was just supposed to be a short one. I've rambled on too long already. Uh, I just had to share this watch with you guys. Don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time. Bye, guys. Thank you to my amazing patrons who keep this channel going with their money. Thank you, guys. You're amazing.